Okay, here is Lifesaver. Um, she is in shed right now. Her eyes are blue. I don't know if you can see. But, yeah, you can kind of see right there. She is never bit me. She's a wild caught snake. And she's uh, just awesome. She's like a therapy snake for me. Um, but anyways, I only have her out uh, to check her heat mat. Which I will show you guys. Hold on one second. Sorry, I'm going to be putting her back in her cage. Okay, so here is her cage. And I have it up on those popsicle sticks there because the little things that, the little rubber things that come with the cage, my parents put this together and I just kind of coordinated them and held Lifesaver. But, um, the little things that fit on the bottom of the cage they don't they don't work they don't stay on so we have popsicle sticks as shims right now temporarily and that seems to be working right now um, but we're gonna change that to something else I don't know what yet but I'll let you guys know but I got a heat mat one of the zoo med heat mats and then I have over here that's my oxygen and then I have uh, there it is, the, the thermostat, which is really important. I have it set to 88 right now because she stays on the top where the height is right there. In the, um, and I'm using Aspen. I also put a, um, I also put a, uh, you can see on the back there, I left that like that just to kind of, you know, kind of discourage her from going underneath because I had a mess up yesterday part of the reason for the video <clears throat> and there's my chihuahua I don't know if people showed up on the video but the reason for the video is because actually it was my fault um, we didn't stick with uh, really good tape underneath the um, for the thermostat so I'm a lifesaver moved the thermostat and she had it kind of out in the cold side where it was like you know saying that it always needed to be turned on because I had to set it at 85 so I think the area that it was at was like 83 and it's always 83 in the cage in that spot so anyways she um and she's in shed right now she loves she loves being out she I'm I'm really just, I'm not lying to you guys, she just, she loves coming out, um, and I hold her even when she sheds, and, uh, anyways, uh, it got really hot, the heat mat, the thermostat registered it at like 128 degrees, um, luckily she didn't get burned or anything, she's not hurt, but that's how important it is that you secure the thermostat, um, little probe, kind of like a thing you put in your steak or something like that secure it like I use gorilla tape I don't know if that's the best but that's the kind of tape that my uh, parents had and that's that's what we use so and it seems to be working I take her out every few hours and check it with you also have to have like a gun to check the temperature just to be just to you know be sure because um, you don't want them to get burned so anyways that was a, a purpose of doing the video make sure everybody knows you know those little things are very important because you have to have air going underneath the cage because you connect the um, heating mat underneath the cage for snakes and they go on top of it and so um, it's very important that it has air to breathe or it'll get too hot and then it can burn the snake or it can start a fire, you know, a lot of things can happen. 
But anyways, I don't have very good lighting here, so we'll see how this video turns out. I'm going to put Lifesaver back in her cage here. And I'll let you guys see that. And again, I use the that bowl right there. That's her water dish. She's big, it's big enough for her to soak in it. Um, it's just like a it's a ceramic, but not ceramic, but it's a pie dish, and uh, she really loves that thing. And um, she's going back in, and she decided to just coil around back that way. She doesn't want to really go back in. All right. Well, there's Lifesaver, and um, just make sure you uh, have your cage propped up on, um, I wouldn't say popsicle sticks, but some kind of shim it has to be propped up so air can get underneath there when you have the heating mat underneath. If it's sealed, it'll get way too hot, and then it can break the glass. Um, so right, this setup I have with the popsicle sticks is working really good. Um, but, you know, if you bump the cage or something like that, it's going to fall off. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it. It's just I'm really careful about it and uh, um, haven't had any problems yet. But anyways, um, here, here's a, just a quick tip on the heating pads and what went wrong uh, where my snake almost got burned. And again, this is Lifesaver. She's uh, about almost four, no, she's three and a half years old. Uh, California king snake she's shedding right now her eyes are in blue um, and she's never bit me she's a very very docile snake most docile snake I've ever had um, never seen a snake as as sweet as she is and she's also trained so I have another video showing some of the stuff she can do well one of the things she can do is uh, go into my walker and then she goes into her hide and then you can kind of see how big she really is she has a lot longer I think she's pushing five feet and she's shedding right now I'll just really and then for the daytime light I have a red all spectrum reptile light that's been working really good and I didn't know this at first um, but you're supposed to turn off the light and have a temperature decrease for uh, California king snakes at night meaning you have to have a heat mat or something underneath you have to you can't just turn off the light and you know because they burrow way way underground um, when it gets really cold here in California they can't survive at the the temperatures we've been having um, but anyways I'm sorry my my videos are kind of confusing I'm gonna have to this I'm gonna come up with a better format because of my brain injury and uh, I'm gonna just keep doing these because it helps helps me and it just gives you guys an idea of what kind of stuff I I can still do which is barely nothing but anyways uh, feel free to message me with any questions you have on snakes or stuff like that because it's something I did from when I was a kid so I still have all those memories um, anyways uh, just message me with any questions you guys have. Alright, bye.